and welcome to another video. Uh, this video is for beginners for uh, the ASP.NET MVC3 using C Sharp. And this tutorial is based on the Microsoft site. This tutorial is very simple. It's about creating a movie um, application, movie list. Uh, but on the first tutorials, it covers something very basic but I think it's very uh, important for beginners to learn uh, one of the things is that you can pass uh, values to your controller and then pass it on uh, in this case as you can see I'm passing it on to the view bag and I'm passing a string and an integer so I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Uh, this tutorial is pretty good. I would <coughs> um, ask you to check it out for more details. But the way it works is <coughs> in the control uh, you have two arguments and that's what you do uh, after the controller name. <coughs> uh, this is your index not the index but the action on your controller so we're gonna call welcome and then we pass the values to it in this example we're gonna pass the name and the number of times uh, once you go into this page <coughs> as you can see it loops four times as you can see that's the number of times and it writes on this list uh, whatever value you pass under name so in this case just hello Victor and that's what we did here we say hello the name and number of times uh, this is just <coughs> the default value is just one in case the user doesn't pass but once we have that then we return the view now if we go back to the view file this is how you use it you start a loop 4 and you go into your view bag and you go check what was the quantity the user passed so basic loop and you write the message which is gonna be this message hello plus the name very simple but I think some people might get confused on the tutorial uh, at first it might look like difficult to pass well at least first to grab values from the URL as you can see the URL might sound difficult to grab these values onto the controller and then pass it on to the view so that step at first if you're coming from other uh, web development that might seem uh, simple but some others just starting out with C sharp and the MVC model might kind of look different way different than the web forms so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is that was something simple now I'm gonna move on to uh, one of the tutorial was talking about the movie controller so there's a bunch of code in here but before I go there close this guy and I'm gonna open the models folder in here I have a basic class under the models folder and the tutorial said that we need to have a class that holds the values our, our movie properties as you can see we got an ID title release date uh, price and other stuff and here this one is kind of interesting because we're setting the context of our database and basically the MVC is going to create for us a database based on these properties so <clears throat> once you have the class done 
and the database the movie DB context once you have this detail then you can go ahead and create a the movie controller so the way you do it is very simple and the tutorial tells you how to do it so right click controller and here you type movie or whatever you want movie controller and here there's three options select the second one read and write actions and views so basically you're gonna create this from this template you're gonna create all those um, actions and on the model class where well, you pick your model which is movie and your data context class you're gonna pick movie db context or depending on what you name your class and that's it make sure you got racer and just hit add once that happened if you get an error saying that you don't have a data provider you will need to go to the tutorial from Microsoft and click on this one uh, SQL Compact 4.0 and then just install it it's gonna take a while but you need to install that one uh, I would suggest before you install make sure you close your Visual Studio just in case then just come back and then then you can try again to create your movie controller once you have that compact uh, SQL <coughs> well I need to step back a little bit before you do the controller make sure you add a web config Let me close this one because there's a few web config here if you open this web config you need to add this uh, connection string to your web config in this one this provider name is pointing to the compact uh, SQL server obviously you can use the the Express but on this tutorial from Microsoft they're using the SQL the compact <coughs> version of it so make sure you go back at this one before you do the controller so with a controller done it will create all these actions for you this index which basically returns movies movie list uh, details you want to look at individual ones then there's two create one is a get and one is a post basically you're gonna submit data and as we saw in the simple uh, hello world so you can see this is kind of similar this is how the controller gets the values on this controller and on this one we're gonna get this class movie and here we're just adding and saving the the values same thing with edit it's all similar there's one get you're gonna get a specific ID using the find method and the same thing with the edit in a movie once you ch make changes you grab the object and then you modify it and save changes same thing with delete so if we run it I should be able to go to movies or movie as you can see we got it working doing and writing no code at all I did not show you what the views look like but once you do that uh, once you add a controller it will create a bunch of uh, movies here you gotta create delete details and edit and view and without any writing any code here it, it's for you it's already done and this is a good star to find out how the syntax works for this racer engine for the uh, HTML uh, pages so we're gonna try to add another one I don't know what movie just try this here would be nice if we had a, like a calendar pop up but we'll just keep it simple 
just do 33 bucks and it's working I think we can details should take us to just the movie by itself and edit so we're just gonna add 10 cents save it so as you can see pretty simple to do so if you have any questions regarding this tutorial send me an email at at v or actually the easiest way just to go to youtube youtube.com video code 2 and leave me a message here or you you have other ways to do it like from twitter at cafe sp or nurse central this is on facebook facebook.com slash c sharp nerd and just leave me a comment here regarding this video or any other uh, questions thank you for watching